Great Biafrans, great people of Biafra, my great people, welcome, welcome. I greet you, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. I salute you all once again today. Today is going to be a very, very quick one. Very, very quick one and pay very big attentively on this, today's message. My great people, I would like to introduce myself before I proceed on today's uh, quick message. This is a very quick message. My name's all the Biafran Shai, the Wachineke Mazo Kechuku. I am from Ehala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. I am on that chain of command. I am IPOB on the oath. I thank you great people for joining me today. I'm not going to take much of your time. I'm not going to take much of your time today. But this one is going to be a very quick one. I want you people to see this post that I have next to my video right now. This is a very straight message to Prof. Charles Soludo, the governor of Anambra State. Today, I want Prof. Charles Soludo to understand that is something, some article that is rampaging the social media today is everywhere on the Zoo newspaper. We want to ask Soludo what is the meaning of all this nonsense article that he put up. At the same time, I want to ask Soludo is this a political correctness or he mean it? Because we have to understand. You see, I keep on telling my people on this quest of self determination, on this Biafran restoration project. Either we restore Biafra or we die restoring Biafra. And there's no two ways about it. I want Soludo to understand that we are here before him. IPOB have been waxing, have been doing well, protecting and guiding our bushes and our forest. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. There is no Jupiter can stop them doing the needful. To protect our life, our forests, our bushes, our mothers, our sisters against raping, against kidnapping, against adoption, against destroying the crops of our mothers. That they will cultivate all their crops for the whole year and they will come back to harvest their crops. By the time they will get there, Fulani have uprooted all their crops cutting it and giving to their cattle. And we say no to that. Because today, we find ourselves in their land, building infrastructures in Fulani land, in Aosa land, building infrastructures, building, their, building good road for them, making their GDP to grow. But when they come to our land, they will go to our bushes and occupy it without paying any tax. To the owners of the land. And when you ask them. They will tell you. We are one Nigeria. Now you understand what we are talking about. And I hope. Soludo. You will hear. Also this is my message. Because it's obvious. That the first message that I sent to you. You get it. When I was advising you. To always negotiate. With their youths. You must always negotiate. With the youth of an Amberians. Because you know that these people are those that voted you in. And you know quite right as a learned person, as a prof, you know that you are the one that's serving them. They are not serving you. You know that quite right. Should be in case if you have forgotten. Because there is a problem that African people have. Though if you may go to school, any place that you want to go in the world, Cambridge, Oxford, and as far they finish there and they come back to that zoo, their brain will turn upside down. That is why I remind you, all the whole promises you made during your campaign, 
that you must fulfill it. And always, very importantly, always try to negotiate with the youths. Don't kill them before you, because if you kill them, it's not going to go down well with us. But now, Prof. Charles Soludo, I've been searching all over the place. I've been hearing the news all over the place. I've been watching television all over the place. I never saw any Fulani man for once have come and condemned the Fulanis, Meati Allah, their father, their root of this terrorist that is happening today. In the northern part of Nigeria, we have more than seven terrorist groups. None of their governor have ever come to address them in a negative way. Always addressing them in positive way. They will come to tell you that it is their misguided brother and they need to be helped. We saw when the zoo called Nigeria, you know, with more than 500 Boko Haram, they called them repentant Boko Haram, recently, 2022. They put them in the rehabilitation camp as they claimed six months. They freed them, give them uniform. And they have joined the army today, coming down to eastern part of that zoo called Nigeria, which is the Biafran people, and begin to cause chaos. I never see in my life any governor from the northern part of Nigeria condemning Boko Haram, condemning Meati Allah, condemning Hispa, and those kidnappers they call themselves. Today that Shegumi was always negotiate with the terrorists. Instead of you to find a way to support your own people, you are now calling them a militia. I will bring the post and we are going to read it together with my people. Because what I'm saying is this. Prof. Charles Orudo, if you don't know our modus operandi, you take yourself away from our way. I hope you are getting my point. You can start killing our people. That is not our problem. But we are promising anyone that ever lay his hand in killing of our people will never go scot-free. You see, our leader have said it and with that number. Though our leader is today in DSS dungeon, none of you are saying how the man will be released. Nobody is saying that. I saw one of your videos you did during the time that you are doing your own campaign. You were talking about Mazen Namdekano. What have you done today for, for his release? Nothing. But we are assuring every one of you that our leader Mazen Namdekan will, will, will be soon free and join us back again to his noble family where he belongs to. Because Mazen Namdekan belongs to IPOB. The greatest movement that mankind have ever seen on this planet Earth. We has no gun, we has no bullet. But we are working well every single day. Now, I want you people to go and tell Soludo, like I said, I don't know who gave him that audacity to begin to write all this article. I don't know if, if he's the one that wrote it or he's the one that posted it or he gave them all this brown envelope with 2,500 naira for them to help him to publish it. But Soludo, we are telling you this. I don't care who you are. I don't care about your position. But I want you to understand that in your own world, call the politicians or the representatives. That is not the, the path that I have chosen. I choose to be a freedom fighter till I die. And I want you also to understand this, that I am already dead man walking. If you are searching for me, if anyone is searching for me to kill me, believe in me, you think I care. Many have gone. Many is also about to go. This is how this life is. None of us will live on this planet Earth forever. That is, this is something our people have to understand. That is why whenever I fight, I'm fighting for Biafra to come, I fight for Biafra with all my heart. Because I know that one day I will be no more. The new generation will continue. And they will be happy and feel free. And humanity will begin to walk in their life. Free speech will begin to walk in their life. They have, they don't have to be afraid of anybody for them before they will say anything or do anything they want to do. Prof. Shah Sorudo, I want you to go and ask Dave Umahi today. 
if it's not IPOB and ESN, they could have already occupied the bushes and forest that we have in Ebony and Imo State. But we fought them. We fought them. You see, I want you people to understand this. Now pay attention and understand very well what I'm saying. Because we I'm not, I'm not coming here to say things the way you want me to say it. I'm not coming here to say things for, for it to please you. To please you, to please you or something like that. No. I am saying things the way it's supposed to be. And I'm ready to down the consequences anytime, any place you call me, I will come there. Prof. Shasoludo, my question to you is this. Have you ever in your life seen any Fulani condemning all these terrorists we have? More than seven terrorists. If you don't know, go and ask Garobasheo. So, Ruth, I want to ask you this. If you don't know the man that negotiating with the, between government and terrorists in northern part of Nigeria, go and ask Shegumi. I hope you haven't forgotten. I want you to go and ask Garobasheo, Erufai, that paid 100 billion to Mehat Allah. You were there. Of course, I, we know what happened during your inauguration when people were disgracing us because that is how black people live. You can never go any place in Western world the day of inauguration. Uh, they, they will begin to mess up themselves. That is where we have found ourselves today. That is why we keep on saying that only disintegration can solve the problem. And we also have to understand that we are the children of Chukwoki Kabiyama. And the Biafra must come in our time. The last miracle on this planet Earth is Biafra. And when Biafra comes, the miracle ends. Some of you won't understand it. But I want so Prof. Shah Sorudo to understand that before he will say some things, he have to use his tongue to count his teeth first. Or he'll go and consult his advisor before he will begin to open his mouth and begin to say nonsense. You know, we say things the way it is. Do you think that they can do anything? They can't do anything because you know why? Nobody pays me. I do things the way I want to do it. And the love of Biafran that is flowing in me will always allow me to say things the way I want to say it. And you people have already know my name, the Biafran child, the one I have already allowed the case of Biafra that they slaughtered during 1967 to 1970 to settle down in me. That is why I will keep on waxing, talking things the way it is, without putting any sugar or maggie on it. I say things the way it is. So, Rudo, you have to mind the way you speak. Because we are not coming here to pamper anybody. You may start today killing our people. There's a lot of people that have been doing that. But we keep on telling them. When time comes, they will pay dearly. We will send them to Chukwoki Kabiyama. And Chukwoki Kabiyama will do what? We judge them according to the work or the killings and abomination they have committed against their own people. Now you understand. So Rudo, have you asked yourself... Who are those people that confronted the Fulanis, the terrorists that are coming from Senegambia and Chad in uniform to occupy our forest? Have you asked yourself who are those that chase them out? If you never know, go and ask Dave Umahi. He will let you understand. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So, Ludo, we are protecting our forest, our bushes, our farmland against the invaders against the terrorists against the kidnapping raping and adoption of our people destroying the crops of our mother that they have cultivated for over full one year and they are waiting for the harvest of the of their crops when they get there fulani will uproot all their crops and begin to cut it and give to their cattle that is why we say no to them we hate nobody. We have told them time with that number. Leave our forest. Come to the city. Come to the city and leave. We have no problem with people coming to the city. You should leave our forest. So you can come into the city. And begin to pay tax. And pay rent. To those that owns that properties. 
you can also arrange a place to rear your cattle and also pay the tax or have a, a normal conversation with the owners of the land. That is what we are talking about. Because today, when you go to northern part of Nigeria and see what our people are doing, they are not doing it free. They are paying for the land. The house they build, they pay for it. Where they are occupying, they pay for the, the, the hotel. Every infrastructure they have built in full and land, they pay for it. It's not free. They don't just go there and occupy the land and begin to use it. When you ask them, they will tell you, we are one Nigeria. That is exactly what Fulanis are doing today. That is why I'm telling you, Prof. Charles Soludo, if you don't know our modus operandi, you take yourself away. Don't talk about IPOB. Go there and do your governorship. If you want to join the those that want to be killing his own people, you are free to do it. Nobody will hold you. But what we are telling is this. After we run, they must count the miles. That is something that we are telling them. It's just a matter of a time. This time we see today, <laughs> tomorrow it may be my turn. You see, this is why we are telling them that you will serve the zoo and definitely come back in shame. Where is Dave Omahi today? He is in shame. Where is, uh, 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 what is his name? Uh, Willie Obi and Ongo Kai Kai. Today, they, they, they come to your inauguration ground. You see what happens there. That to show you that it's a, that it's a shame. Where is him today? He's in EFCC. They will serve the zoo and they must definitely come in shame. Abuka Osa, where is him today? In shame. So that is why you see anyone can do whatever they want to do. Tomorrow it will be another person's turn. This is how things rose. That is the way our governors and representatives couldn't even apply their number six. How the Fulanese are doing every day. Protecting and guiding the terrorists they have in the northern part of Nigeria. But in small one that we have that is protecting our bushes and forests, now Sorudo want to be telling us what he don't know. And Sorudo have forgotten that we are there before him. Who are you who give you that impetus or audacity to begin to call us militia? Have you seen a Fulani man called Boko Haram a terrorist or militia or secessionist? Have you seen them? Sorudo, if you don't know, we want you to know that before colonial master came, there is a land called Biafra. We are fighting for our freedom. Our land called Biafra, we are there before they came. So who are you to be telling us? Or be calling us all sorts of names? So Ludo, you have to mind your business and do the work that Anambra people put you there to do to serve them and protect them and build infrastructure for them and build a company, build them a motor, uh, motorized road, motorable road, so that they can be able to drive safety, safely. We are not coming here. We are not. We, we did not put you there to begin to challenge our modus operandi. No, we don't put you there. We put you to go and serve the Anambra and Amberians. That is why you are there. Don't go beyond what you don't know. We don't care. Like I always tell my people, I'm not a politician, and I don't want to be one of them. I want to be a freedom fighter till I die. And I want you people to understand this. On this quest of self-determination, on this Biafran restoration project, either we restore Biafra or all of us die restoring Biafra. And when you come on this project, you count me in. I am 101% in on this quest of self-determination. And no man, no man born of a woman can stop it. And Biafra must come in our time. Our leader, Mazin Namkan, will be free. None of you are talking about the free of our leader. You said it during your campaign because you want to be in deceit. You know, this is the problem of our people. They use what you love most, most to come for you. After they're done or getting what they want, now they will forget about all the whole promises they have made for the people they are leading or ruling. Now you understand what I'm talking about. I want to bring this issue of Prof. Charles Oludo, article that Prof. Charles Oludo wrote, I don't know if he paid people or he's the one that did it or he paid them with a brown envelope. Prof. Charles Oludo, always find a way to protect your own people. 
Fulani are there protecting their own people. Don't you see it? The, haven't you seen that? Or are you blind that you couldn't see anything? That none of them ever condemn the terrorists in Fulani land. We know there are many. They are destroying our properties, burning our houses. At the same time, we are still paying the tax to them. Buying a land, building infrastructure for them. How many Fulani have came or come to our land to build? Only what they know how to do is to go to our forest to occupy it. After 30 years, 40 years, they have, you know, they have burned children. They have given birth to a lot of children. Tomorrow, it will be a problem for you to take over your land. Or do you think that these places that our mothers are cultivating their crops now, tomorrow in future to come, those places will be a building. We have to move more in. Those places that Fulani are occupying now will be our cultivating land tomorrow. And this place we are cultivating today will be a house tomorrow. Our people never risen. That is why, you see, Fulani, they have been planning this for over many years. All these conquests. But up to date, our people don't seem to understand. But now, let us go to this message of uh, Charles Soludo. We are going to read it together. We are going to read it together. So that people will understand that I'm not lying what I'm saying. But I want to tell Soludo. This is not an advice. If you want to work with the Eastern Security Network, you have to go to the leadership and talk to the leadership. You cannot just open your mouth and begin to say things that you were not there when they created it. Or because now you're a governor, you want to tell us that you have that impetus to say anything that you want to say. Because... We are Biafran people. We don't love to kill. We don't have, we don't love to share blood. We don't love even to see blood. Some of the things that the Fulanis are doing today, that they are doing in our land, you cannot see it in Fulani land because all of them know how to share blood. They love to see blood. So when you go against them, definitely they won't wait. They will come for you straight. But our own side of the world called the Biafran people, we hate to see blood. That is why we always give them time. If they can be able to change and join our struggle, what we're doing. Now, let me uh, follow what Prof. Shasoludo said before I will say the last final thing that I want to say to tell him that he should go away from that way, that path that is going now. He should go. He shouldn't disturb any ESN or IPOB, anything they are doing. We are not unknown government. If you want to know who the unknown government is, go and or ask Hope, who's or them and Dave Umahi that formed unknown gunmen by a bubago, killing our people, maiming them, destroying their properties. You don't ask them. You know, but you don't want to ask. Everything you people will put it on IPOB ESN. But you, you have forgotten that ESN make your mothers. Though your mother is not cultivating today because you are a politician. Because you have made a better life for your mother to come to the city or to live in a good house. That she will never go to uh, any any bush to cultivate any, any crops. You will buy it for her already made because of your position. Now you have forgotten those that don't have that position that you have to protect their family or to help their mother. That they have to go to the farm to cultivate before they will eat. You have forgotten them. And you have forgotten what the ESN, the work of ESN, by protecting our farms, our bushes, and our forests against the invaders. You have forgotten it. Where are they today? All of them, they have fled from our bushes. Now, some people are still bringing them back. You understand what I'm saying? So, you have to respect all the whole work that ESN have done in our bushes and forests against the kidnap, against the adoption, against raping, against destroying our crops. After the adoption, they will ask for ransom. You doubt what I'm saying? You can also ask Shegumi, the negotiator of the bandits. Is there living freely? Why our leader Mazen Namdekanu is today in DSS dungeon? None of you have said anything. The one that you said before is during your campaign. You see, that is why we have to understand. Our minds, the way we speak, 
And whenever we want to talk, we have to reason it. Or go and ask your advisor to advise you before you begin to write nonsense against the indigenous people, against those that make you a governor today. Don't say bad about them. Prof. Shah Soludo. Let us read what you, you wrote. Governor Shah Soludo has extended an olive branch to the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its militia arms. Which kind of word is its militia arms? The Eastern Security Network, ESN, Soludo urged IPOB and ESN to work with his administration in tackling insecurity in the state. That is something that you're supposed to say. And you have to meet the leadership. It's not something that you begin to pay people a brown envelope for them to help you to, wrote, to write this or to publish it. You go straight to the leadership. You know who they are. You can get them. You can negotiate with You can sit on a round table with them and negotiate. That is why I was telling you before. Obviously, you get my message. I told you, don't kill your own youth. Find a way to, to work with them. Protect them. Give them a job. And I give you some instance where you can start. We have something like Onishame Market. We have something like Newe. We have Ehala. We have Oba. We have different places where you can lay your foundation and start from there. And things will be going well. I told you all this. But you keep on there yapping. Let's continue. Um, he spoke. The third one. He spoke. He spoke. Why delivering his uh, in, in Gural speech in Aqua? the state capital. Soludo questioned the motive of uh, secessionist uh, agitators, wondering if it was the time to interrogate the purpose of IPOB and ESN. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Soludo, when you speak or when you write something, you have to understand or like most, you must, you know, consult your advisors to tell you what to write. Or I hope if you are the one that wrote this. Now let's continue because we have another one. Let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, we stop there. Uh, now, the secessionist. So Ludo question the motive of secessionist agitators. Wondering if it was a time to interrogate the purpose of IPOB and ESN. According to him, it is a time to interrogate the purpose of IPOB and ESN, which purpose they have, only to restore Biafra. The politicians using it as a means, as a means, must come out of a consensus. Regarding our future, the conspiracy of silence, silence, by stake, stake, uh, stakeholders must stop. I challenge the group daring the killings to come out and work with my administration to ensure peace and security in the state. IPOB ESN have been linked to several killings across the Southeast. You see what I'm saying? That is exactly place that I want you people to pay attention. Don't mind my English. I'm not an Englishman. I'm trying, to my, I'm trying my best to make sure that I, I read out what this man just put there. But I want you people to pay attention exactly to this one. Especially that one. I challenge the group daring the killings to come out and work with my administration to ensure peace and security in the state. Now he's asking those people that daring the killings to come and support his administration. At the end he put ESN. An IPOB. Why is the zoo in uniform coming from outside Zoo Corn, Nigeria? They are giving them uniform to come to kill a man or non gunmen. They are from Dave Umahi and uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, um, the man of Imo State that are destroying Imo Light today. Hope those are them. And the man also extends the IPOB. And ESN have been linked to several killings across the state. How? 
This man never talk about what Fulanis are coming from Senegambia, trooping into our land with their mercenaries, killing people, maiming, destroying, kidnapping, and asking for ransom. This man never said this. When you go to northern part of Nigeria, they will be telling you it's their misguided brother. We have to help them. We have to push them in the in a rehabilitation camp so that they will get better. They will give them free food. After six months, then we integrate them into the society of the military. Give them uniform. Then we start where they stop. Begin to kill, maim, and destroy. They will kidnap. They will ask for ransom. If we pay them, they will still take those kids as a, as a shared. You see what I'm saying? Lai Shehibu is still there today. I don't know how many kids that lady had today. He further absolving its members of any wrongdoing the group insists that some politician and governors using the criminal to cause harm in the region so now you know this is what i'm bringing to about uh, prof charles soludo i want you people to understand that anybody that knows prof charles soludo should go and tell prof charles soludo no, get okay, weapon. I came when offer before. Why come, madam? Sure, Prof. Charles Oludo should stop accusing the ESN that is helping him also to protect his backyard. But he has forgotten because now he's a governor. You know, whenever they get to that seat, they will begin to yap. I will stop here and I want this message to get to Prof. Sir Charles Soludo to be in case if he has forgotten. Like I said, he must work with his own people. He must work with his own people and make sure he protects his own people. And if you want to ESN to work with them as the Fulani are working with them because Fulani are working with their own people. You don't have to come out and begin to yap on social media or go to me, uh, me media room in that zoo to begin to talk nonsense from your mouth. You must respect your own people. Those that have been protecting and guiding your forest and your backyard against the Fulani militias coming and terrorists coming from Senegambia to destroy and kidnap and kill our people. You have to understand that. So Ludo, this message is straight to you and be warned. Don't stop. Don't you ever start this your nonsense. Don't, don't go there at all. If you don't know what you say, I keep on If you don't know what to say, you keep your mouth shut and begin to rule the Anambarians. Go and rule them. Don't even you go there. Because if you come, we will come for you. There is no two ways about it. We say things the way it is and there is nothing can happen. There is nothing can happen. You can only be ranting in that zoo. When you cross Europe, we show you who we are. We are formidable before our enemies. So, Rudo, be careful. In some word, I will say, just be careful. And I will stop it here. Great people of Biafra, I salute you people once again today. Great people, good day and welcome. Great Biafrans, great.